Root canal therapy refers to a treatment in which your dentist removes the bacteria infection that has entered your tooth's pulp or nerve chamber. Why would you need a root canal? There are several reasons why your tooth may become irritated and inflamed, such as deep decay, big fillings, trauma to the tooth, a chipped tooth, or even repeated dental work. So here's how it works. Root canal treatment is routinely performed in one or more visits. First, a local anesthetic is administered to numb the tooth so that the procedure is more comfortable. Next, your dentist will place a protective shield or a rubber dam to keep the tooth clean and saliva free. Once numbness sets in, an opening is made through the top part of the tooth. Root canal files are used to clean and shape the inside of the canals and prepare the root canal for a final filling material. During the process, a cleansing solution is used to help clean out any remaining bacteria or tooth debris. X-rays may also be taken periodically during the procedure to inform your dentist of the ongoing process. Once the bacteria is successfully removed, your dentist will make the decision whether to continue with the root canal filling procedure or to postpone it for the next visit. This decision depends on the degree of your infection and the professional judgment of your dentist. When the root canal filling is performed, it is generally done by placing a rubber-like material with a sealer that fills the entire length of the root canal. A temporary filling is then placed on the tooth. Please keep in mind that root canal therapy treats the diseased pulp of the tooth, but the treatment is not complete until the tooth is restored to a functional stage. This means a crown or a similar type of dental work is necessary to make the tooth operational again. After completion of root canal therapy, you might feel some discomfort for a few days following the treatment. To alleviate the discomfort, you can follow your dentist's recommendation on taking an over-the-counter pain medication. In more extreme cases, your dentist may prescribe an antibiotic and prescription strength pain reliever to help reduce any remaining infection. Following root canal therapy, you should never chew directly on the repaired tooth until its final restoration has occurred or your tooth may crack. Also keep in mind that the longer you wait to complete the final restoration, the more likely bacteria will reinfect the treated canal, requiring the therapy to be performed all over again. Root canal therapy, like every other treatment, is not free of unknowns and complications. There is a possibility that during the procedure, a shaping file could break and get stuck in the root canal, or that the root of the tooth fractures. In other cases, it's possible to miss a hidden root or an extra canal that's in need of treatment. Lastly, a good seal may not be achieved due to the shape of the root. Of course, these complications are the exceptions, not the norm. In the event that root canal therapy is unsuccessful, your dentist can discuss alternative options, including repeating the treatment or extracting the infected tooth. Please keep in mind that the longevity of your tooth and its root canal depends in large part on your oral hygiene and diet, so be sure to maintain your teeth with proper brushing and flossing. If you have any additional questions, please consult your dentist.